It is the evening before I take on Ohio's triple nickel. But tomorrow I've got an awesome loop planned. I've got this super cute little cabin. Midnight's right there, ready to roll. Of course, I'm gonna get lunch. Just taking in the evening now, settling down a little bit. It's morning time, sometime I don't know what time. And uh, we've gotta get the logistics going so we can get on the road. Kind enough to let me leave the truck and trailer here for the day so I can go ride around and then come back and load up tonight and go home. I have to ride midnight to the top of the campground and then just leave it and walk, the shame walk, back to the truck. I'm just gonna ride up in my shorts and I kind of hate to disturb the peace at this point. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. While we're coming back, we'll give you a little tour of the area. <laughs> Nickel baby. <laughs> Let's get parked up, get our riding gear, and hit it. Let's check out the sign. Let's do a quickie selfie. Look at that, south on 55. Hopefully the speed limit gets a little more exciting. All right, bike, sign, me. I just passed the speed limit sign, it's at 55. Oh, here's the turnout with the south 555 everybody stops at, without the speed limit sign on it. Right, all right, all right, look at that. 555, without the speed limit. Everything's fives today, it's like the perfect cribbage hand. 55 55 miles an hour okay well I'm going 40 miles an hour that's a problem that's much better okay it's been a few miles of just farms and open country and, and pretty open stuff but it just got tastier first time I've had to break for a corner here and downshift so that's good Bottle. Yes. There we go. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> and you know what that means? That means we gotta find a place to lunch, lunch, lunch. All right, I gotta step it up because it's uh, so so time for the lunches, lunches. Let's go see. Corners are making me late for lunch. I'm hungry. Sometimes you're tempted to knock it up into fifth gear. This is fourth gear at 50 miles an hour. But then you come, come into a corner here. There's no way you want fifth through here. You want fourth to come out. So, like that right there. Right there's fourth out. Got to get out on the big boy road here. You live around here don't even think about it beautiful little scenic overlook i got to take a nice little break and check the map and it looks like there's a waterfront restaurant in the next town up two minutes away let's go see what they offer see what's in the store at this waterfront restaurant hey? what's the temperature outside 86 degrees doesn't feel quite that hot, but I maybe. Ooh, is this the rest? Of, here's his barbecue. But we're here. Bar, boathouse, boathouse barbecue. We're, we made it. Parking. How do I park? Oh God! I just smelled barbecue. Oh boy. Oh, it smells so good. It's just unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Getting excited for the lunch. Ah yes. 
I missed it. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. See the current going ever so slightly to the to the west. Headed to the Mississippi. What a nice day though, huh? Look at the view to the west. Look at that. Boathouse barbecue. Well done. Thank you. That was delicious. Okay, next, I got to skedaddle out of here. We're like right near Marietta. And I'm going to shoot up into the hills and go north, but mostly east. One leg down, full stomach, get some gas before we head up in the hills, and let's go. Looking for gas, but... Uh, look at this bridge, though. Look at this. Oh, the flags. Oh, cool. Is this a confluence in the river? I think it is. What's that waterway? Is a paddle boat up there? Where am I? Some kind of confluence in the river. I gotta check that out. I gotta research it. I'm starting to toast. There's, uh, oh man, there's rail railway in the street. So it terminated back there, like it dead ended. This is brick road. So they had an old trolley. So this is, uh, you know, uh, it's very, very brick. Um, so they had an old trolley. Look at the tracks, it goes that way. That's cool tradition. We've got the old trolley rails still in the road on this brick road. It must be the historic district. It's not good for driving, but it's really cool looking. Okay. That would have been cool to have a trolley through town. This is, um, <laughs> this is torture though. All right, we gotta find gas. Ask and you shall receive. It is a Speedway gas station. And I don't know if it's just a guilty pleasure or what, but on hot days like this where it's sunny and hot, 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 it's such a guilty pleasure to have the roof, the canopy for the gas. <laughs> your, your seat doesn't get cooked. It's just the little things in life. Just the little thing. Pay at the pump. Do not remove card. So bossy. Remove card. So bossy. No please, thank you. Just remove your card. Car wash today? Ah, uh, no. That would be a wet lift nozzle. <clears throat> Do I want a receipt? No. No, I don't want a receipt. There. No receipt. Like, should I mean, mean to it? It should say, fine. You don't want a receipt, fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, full belly, good mood, sunny day. Uh, Southeast Ohio, backcountry cruising. This is going well. Uh, north on 26, Ohio 26. Let's tear this bad boy up. This is really good pavement, like brand new pavement. These roads, people just live on these roads. I, how, I wouldn't even get to my house if I, if I lived on this road. I'd just drive back and forth all day, hitting all the apexes. Pushes down, you know, where the, the apex is in the bottom of a hill. So cool. Another one here. Look at this curve on this. The banking. That is severe banking. These roads are, these curves are banked right over. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Shoot, there's a biker down. Oh, okay. Jeez, okay, that sucks. Um, they gave me a thumbs up, so I mean, I'm not gonna stop. Shit, there's a biker down right there. Oh, jeez. It looks like everybody's okay. The bike's stuck under the guardrail. Um. Continue with our day. Beautiful road. What is an awesome piece of road? 26 I'm on. Highway 26. It's time for my review of Highway 26 as a sports touring road. And I would give it another 10 because... I have been just going corner to corner, just basically surfing back and forth. There's some spots that have sight lines that you can go all the way from mustard to mayonnaise and mustard back. These motorcycles can apex within the lane. And it's just been, look at like the, just, it's extremely swoopy. It's a little bit faster paced than the triple nickel. It's a little bumpy here and there, like now, just when I'm trying to video. But for the most part, it's a great road. You get these cool hillsides where you're underneath the shadow. Because there's some steep uh, cliffs and stuff. Look at the cliffs up here. Look at that. See, this is so cool. pop out in these uh, river flats. This is what sport touring is all about. Ooh, a lot. Here we go. 30 miles an hour, see? So you have some tighter ones, down to 30. And then it kind of opens up. And up and down and up and down and over and over. It's, it's really good. Grab a gear. Seneca, you have some surprises. And you 
of twisty roads that lead to you, which makes it even better. I'm Mike, the channel's for motorcycle. Click subscribe if you'd like to see the next video. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right. What a place. <laughs>